Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our daily angelic message for March 22nd, 2024. Make sure you're going back. There's a ton of content this week. It's all coming out now. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Because guess what? I don't get views on my videos anymore. <laughs> so I don't even know. Can I still get banned? Maybe. I don't know. But um, I ain't got nothing to lose. So say what you got to say, right? So here we go. Number 13, solitude. Go back and watch the dailies, man, because it was all, we're speaking to the people who don't get the support. We're speaking to the people who don't have anybody around them who's attempting to understand them. We're talking to the people who maybe throughout the course of your life, you've been trained to think that you're some sort of burden just for existing. Guess what, baby? I'm here with you. We ain't paying attention. We're not giving into these narcissistic people anymore. We're going to fight back in the way that we can, and that is with our energy. And that means the solitude is definitely probably backing up, getting some space, not just allowing people to be entitled to come and siphon energy off of you anymore. And I'm going to speak to some of you out there where you've had some real struggles. People in our society who are struggling the most think people with depression, anxiety, addictions, um, they're in abusive dynamics, you know, they've really had to live through quite a bit and reinvent themselves over and over and over again. And because we live in the society that we do, those will be, those will be the people who get seen as like not all together or like dangerous or always, always use your discernment when you're out and about, you never know. How someone's going to act okay obviously but what I'm speaking to is the people who have explored the dark underbelly of, of a human existence and they've managed to come out the other side or maybe they need a little help coming out to the other side they do not deserve to be seen as the worst humans on the planet when we've got Joe Blow freaking Karen Karen Cuckoo Bird over here, who really thinks she is a good person. Because she has studied and learned the right things to say. Oh my gosh, I could get on a soapbox about this. <laughs> I could get on a soapbox about this. Ugh, the fake nice people who are super entitled, super self-indulgent. These are the ones that will sit there and corner someone. I said this maybe in the weekly or something like that. But they'll sit there and they'll corner somebody Make this person listen about their their life. It, about how everything's a struggle and you're hearing them like, and maybe you ask questions like, okay, you're saying that you're struggling because that could be someone crying out for help. So maybe you try to get more information and then you're finding that they just, um, they think them not getting their way in the timing that they think that they should get it is a struggle that puts them in the struggle. Sometimes I don't like people. I, I swear to God. So listen to me. Um, <laughs> if you need a little solitude on this day, if you are also in the I don't like people today kind of mode, it's cool. But more than anything, if you're one of those people, if you've watched my content and you feel me, you feel where I'm coming from, can you comment and let's be friends? Can we do that? Because I've had it. No more fake people. I've, I've done enough of that um no more narcissists no more sociopaths we're done we're done and being friends does not equate to you emailing me with like if i printed out four pages of your life story <sighs> that's not what that is <laughs> okay that's not what we're talking about here okay we're actually talking to the people who get no support you have been treated as a burden in your life Treated like a burden when you haven't even gotten a chance to tell your story. You've had no say in anything. You haven't, you, you, maybe you're surrounded by people who don't even know you because they've never bothered to get to know you. They project their own image of you onto you and expect you to act in kind. You're the ones I'm talking to. You're the ones I want in my audience. You're the one I will keep showing up for every week even if I'm only getting 100 views on a video if we can connect then it's worth it if you need some time on your own you can take that if you have 
people around you. I know I always say reach out because I do believe in therapy, but I also know firsthand that a lot of bad people get through the system to become mental health practitioners. So you need to be your best, your own best advocate. You need to take care of yourself. You are so worth it, honey. Anybody who's come along and said, oh, because you've done this, this, and this, you're not worth it. Oh, let me dispel the spell. Okay. That is a spell that has been put upon you and it is to steal your light, dampen your light, make you feel like you're not worth it. Ah, uh, time to be in your comeback era. It's time to be in your comeback era and that's okay. You, you do one step at a time. I, I said, it's okay. Cause some of you, I just literally felt like some of you are saying, but it's so hard. Um, <laughs> Just responded because uh, I felt that. It's okay. We can take it step by step. I don't always have good days. I don't have good days all the time. I mean, some days I'm just so scared of what humanity is like and the stories that are out there. And, you know, um, I, I think a lot of us get tired of uh, supposedly always trying to com comfort everybody else while we ourselves are struggling. I've been very open that I struggle with depression, sometimes anxiety. It's more the depression thing. And I have been to the doctor about it. It's very hormonally induced. <laughs> um, but, um, but sometimes I just get sad because I see what's going on. Things are so clear. I think they're clear. And, and it's, I think, scary. It's, it's bad enough that bad things are happening to people. But this, that, that's scary enough. But what's also scary is how people respond to it. I mean, there could be something catastrophic that just happened. And there's somebody over here going, okay, so I have this thing that I wanted to do. And I want you all to, whoa, so tone deaf. And so like, and people could have lost their lives over here. And they're just switching it over to something completely shallow I'm fed up with that. Let me know if you're fed up with that. Let me know what we can do together. Because um, I might I might be in a good position here. My channel once was getting to be big. Um, at one time I was getting 100,000 views on one video. Now I get like 1,000 if I'm lucky on a weekly. And that's okay. So long as the people who are showing up, I put this out to the universe a long time ago. I don't care how many people are coming in and watching the video so long as they are the, the right people to hear that message. And that's it. So um, take care of yourselves. Things are changing and they're going to change in a big way for you. And you may not see direct results of that quickly, um, but you're not alone. It's okay to be in solitude and, and recharge your batteries a little bit and do some self-reflection and all the things that are healthy for you to do, but you don't owe anybody anything, especially if someone historically has siphoned your energy. I've had clients like that who have come in and siphoned my energy. And then when I'm just like, I know they're the next person up and maybe I'm just done for the day because I don't have the strength. I said it and I don't care. I'm going to put it out there. I just don't have the strength to handle it that day. It's okay to not do that. It's okay to make them wait an extra day. Completely acceptable. And if you forget, I'll be here to remind you. If some of you have problems with that, go ahead and leave it in the comments. We ain't messing with you no more. Okay? We're not doing the toxic thing anymore. We're not going to make excuses for toxic people in their toxic ways. Good? Let's get on to the next one for tomorrow. I'm going to record that. I'll see you then. I love you guys. Take care.